Hi, I'm John, the Banking Systems Engineer Termel, and Lesson 19 is more of the actions I've done to help fix the world banking system and uh, how we should be tackling this problem. This is from the Ballad of the Banking Systems Engineer. You can get it at poembank.htm at my website. And this is Picketing and the Shuttle Engineers, the Challenger Engineers. With danger to our life support, there was no time to lose. We could correct financial woes. I had to spread the news. To bring a hidden fact to light, I had to take the chance. The dangers to our planet come from shortage of finance. It's life support we're building here. I hope you realized. Industrial capacity should be so maximized. If engineers will not rise up against this business beast, who else can be expected to? It's not up to the least. To spread the message, I have had to use tactics unheard, and it has left me much, much besmirched, my person, not my word. Some engineers have said that the profession I disgrace. In answer for my tactics, do I point out this one case? Destruction of the Challenger, the shuttle's sorry tale, with engineers who knew the cold would make the rubber fail. They argued into cold this night. The problem was not cured. The crew was launched up anyway, for they were all insured. If you had lots of money and were one such engineer, would you imperil by objecting your future career? Most would have told the astronauts their craft was not too stable. They would have tried to intervene if they thought they were able. If no one listened to your warning, would you go ahead and write up on a picket sign the words you wish be said? The weather's been too cold today. The rubber seals won't hold. If you go up, there's no excuse. You'll die and you've been told. Most would have carried sign, picket signs and told all who would hear. Most would have acted in this case of life and death so clear. If no one listened to you, would you tell them what you are? And right on cap, the engineer who studied this by far. The rubber seals are too unsafe. It's death to him who goes. Believe me, please, I've studied seals. The engineer who knows. Most would have worn the cap that said this is the engineer. Most people to the engineering ethics would adhere. The shuttle engineers did fail to stop calamity. They never should have ceded what was their authority. And if we wish to fix the flaw, would the banks resist? And would they try to thwart those of us wishing to exist? The software is the problem, while the hardware is good as new. Inflation can be fixed at will by making debt be true. The correspondence one-to-one -one of trades of energy, it is the right solution. It's the only one I see. I wore the cap and carried signs to spread my message sure, abolish interest to fund environmental cure. We have the men, materials, technology to win, to let the bankers slow repair is engineering sin. I picketed the banks at cities all across the land. I picketed our parliament, the weather to withstand. I picketed the meetings of World Bank and IMF. The queen, the pope, the politicians, they were all so deaf. The words up on my picket sign were large and made it clear. Abolish interest and make the problems disappear. So I instilled into their minds some words they never knew. I'm proud to think the word is sowed in more than only few. Let's. Now, I explained how Let's worked in my poem to Her Majesty the Queen, but I left that, had to leave out some little parts. So, in the States, the use of time dollars, like in other lands, with chips based on the hours, serving members all demands. They've quarter hour bills and half hour bills, it's true, with bills worth one full hour, even bills worth hours two. Then the mayor solves the problem. Remember the mayor's problem of the snowstorm and how he solved it? Now, what are the things? Using green dollars that the mayor could pay, like British tallies, each one backed up by work fixing stuff. We'd offer green to fix a pothole to a company wishing to pay their tax with unemployed capacity. Today in our society where money clearly lacks, who could refuse some paper anyone may use for tax? 
Green dollar paychecks could be earned by all desiring work, the opportunity to pull their weight so few would shirk. Before the budget allocations are completely spent, can let's green dollars help reverse project abandonment? If council members for their tax took part of pay in green, we'd have some cash left over, which is something rarely seen. If civil service took some green, at least for taxes due, the extra cash would guarantee some extra jobs ensue. The only question left is how the tax should be assessed for goods and services, a simple formula to test. For services, we levy tax at end of every year. For assets, tax to pay depreciation, it's so clear. With green, we'd pay for road repairs, and I would gladly take green dollars from the working men so payment I could make. And we could build our hospitals, and I would take as pay green dollars to buy medicine and service they purvey. The government that spend the most and had the highest tax would be the government providing citizens the max. And best of all, we'd have the green to save environment, a way to pay to save our lives and make us affluent. With green, the unemployment throughout the world could save the day. Without it, they will idly sit and die their lives away. We let the state run things for us. In banking, they should too. Creation of the money is a service they should do. Credit should be a public utility. The lets can be adapted to most any database. Municipal, provincial, federal, in every case. And even after this poem, the United Nations Resolution C6 adopted the time-based banking resolution. Check it out, the Unilets Resolution. No need to understand the simple program, for we know computer pros and government can surely make it go. So, Treasury should do it. The answer that makes sense to me is for the Treasury, or the Bank of Canada, to take it over from the banks, create it all for free. If funding were all handled by the nation's Treasury, $180 billion spent environmentally, then we could pay for hydro dams, and I would gladly take the T-bills from the working men so payment I could make. And we could build our hospitals, and I would take as pay the T-bills to buy medicine and service they purvey. Use money from the treasury, not money from the banks, and save us all the interest, and I will give you thanks. And though reti retired residents do often feel dismay, I've said this before, they shouldn't fear if we should take their interest away. All those who live on savings bonds to furnish what they spend could buy some stocks, create some jobs, and get a dividend. And there's more to it now. It's called, I call it God dividend, God's dividend instead of Satan's usury. Right now they say, put your money in the bank and get more money to buy your stuff later. What happens if a merchant, for instance, took a kid's IOU for two hours of labor for that sweater he made him, whatever. 30 years later, the merchant comes back to the student and says, here's your IOU for two hours worth of sweaters. Give me my sweaters. And the kid says, well, guess what? I got better technology. So two hours worth of IOUs is not going to get you four sweaters. So as technology gets better, your money should buy you more and more. So instead of trying to get more money for your food, what you want is more food for your money. And that means go for God's dividend and not Satan's usury. So my final poem is, I'll pay my tax for army and police to handle strife. I'll pay my tax for doctors, nurses who protect my life. I'll pay my tax for all engaged repairing road and sewer. I'll pay my tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay my tax for bureaucrats with no regret. I only object to paying tax for interest on debt. So that is that part of the poetry. And uh, it gives you an idea of how interest-free banking could solve our problems.